Hey guys, it's Jan here today with a video as promised. And today we are making this adorable little snake. So, I won't be doing this little guy on this tutorial. If I do this tutorial, and yeah, I know the band broke and it looks weird. But if I do this tutorial, it will be another time because he's all double loop bands and I am not in the mood to snap any more bands. So, for this little snake, you're going to need one red band, two black bands, and a box of colorful bands. My guess is that you only need at least 20. I could be wrong. It could be less. It could be more. Somewhere around there. A little bit more, probably. But the two black are going to be for the eyes, the one red band for the tongue slash slipknot band, and then the colorful bands for his body. And when you're making the snake, I recommend you do not use any black bands in your mixture of colors, because it'll blend in with the eyes. So let's get started. You need your loom in this configuration, and you need your colorful bands. Alright, I'm going to start by taking my single red slipknot band, or his tongue, and we're going to place it there. And now we're just going to be taking two bands at a time, and I'm using just a bunch of random colors. And you're just going to follow me. So we're going to go there to there, and then we're going to go down the center one, two, three, four, five times in the center. So one, two, three. Four. Oh, I need to stop hitting the camera. Five. All right. Now all we're gonna go, all we're gonna go, all we're gonna do is go down the sides with two bands at a time. There's so many green bands in here. What the heck? Darn it! I don't want this to be a green snake. I want it to be a colorful snake. All right, and then we're gonna come in here at an angle. Then we're gonna go down this side. The shortest rain balloon tutorial out there. <laughs> and we're gonna not use green bands. <laughs> Alright. Too many green bands. Alright, now we're gonna come in. And we are going to do the eyes when we're looping. So I'm gonna get these out of the way. And we're going to put the horizontal bands on. So, I'm going to be taking one single band and stretching it across these three pegs. These three pegs. And I'm using single bands. These three pegs. And these three pegs. And now we're going to take single bands and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright. We're going to take single bands and we're going to go the rest of the way down the loom. Single bands. I'm making sure that I don't put um, the same color next to each other, so I'm not going to put two greens next to each other. I'm not going to put two oranges next to each other. Nothing like that. Alright, now that we've gone down with single bands, we're going to take our hook, and I lost my metal one. Take our hook and take a single black band. And no, we're not doing that yet. Take a single colorful band. It doesn't matter what color. We're going to wrap around a hook, creating three loops. And then we're going to take a single band and pull that on. And you can make this snake's tail as long as you want, but if you're going to make it like this long, like the baby one that I have here, you're just going to follow me. If you want to make it longer, now's the time to do it. You're going to extend it on your hook. But we are going to attach this little stub at the tip of him right there. And we're going to start looping. We're attaching the eyes when we get up to the top of the head. So, yes. not stand that hook. All right, loop this single chain all the way up to here, where the, it meets the bands there. And we're gonna take these two bands, we're gonna loop these two bands to the side, loop these two bands to the side, and we're going to loop Straight up the center. Woohoo! Woohoo! How did I do that? And we're going to stop right there, leaving that set of bands. 
We're going to go back down to the bottom, and we're going to loop these two single bands forward, 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 stopping there. So we have these bands, these bands, and then this row we haven't looped yet. We have the diagonal bands and the slip knot band. Alright, we're going to go back to the bottom here and loop up. Stopping there as well. Alright, so we should have the slip knot band, the two diagonal sets, and then these three sets here that aren't looped. We're going to take our black bands, we're going to wrap a single one around our hook, creating four loops. And we're going to loop the side peg, pulling the eye onto the bands. Ooh. All right, let's redo that. Wrap a band around a hook, creating four loops. And then we're going to loop the set of bands that I dropped. So as we're looping them, we're going to pull the eye onto it. And then place it onto that peg, like that. Now we're going to do the second eye, so wrapping your band four times around your hook, and we're going to loop these, and then we're going to pull this eye band onto it. Come on, it's all twisted. No. Placing that back on the peg. Alright, now we're going to loop these diagonal bands, these diagonal bands, these straight bands, and carefully, very carefully, looping this single red band. Tying it into a slip knot if you do not know how to do that, it's very simple. Hey, you're supposed to do what I want you to do. Alright. I like to start at the bottom of my loom and work my way up when I pull creations off the loom. Carefully pulling him off the loom. This tutorial was longer than I wanted it to be, but oh well. All right, you're gonna have to pull him because he's going to look like a deformed little butt. So, you're gonna first start by pulling at your tail and straightening out any of the twisted bands. Just pull at them until they are straight. And then you're going to, I'll fidget with this after I'm done with the tutorial because you're going to want to pull and mush his body and his head how you want it. Alright, pulling the eye bands out and downwards so that they look more like they're on his head. And then when you are done, your beautiful colorful snake should look something like this. Mine is very neon. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We'll fix this little red tongue. And I will hope to see you all in the next video. And yeah, so comment down below more video suggestions. Next video that I make, I could be wrong, but I think I'm going to do this doll. It is the casual <laughs> doll with the t-shirt on, shorts, high tops, and a flannel, and a ponytail. Because I think she's super cute. And I hope to see you on our next video. Comment more video suggestions, and bye-bye!